Yo guys, insanegamer 52 here, and Call of Duty just released a new blog post to prepare us for the launch of multiplayer with tons of juicy info, so let's get into it. Alright, first off they confirm all the game modes in the game. You have all the normal modes like free for all, team deathmatch, domination, hardpoint, control, and search and destroy, plus the two new one life modes prisoner rescue and knockout, and a returning mode that's been gone for a while, which is headquarters. We've seen this as a limited time featured mode in recent games, but it's nice to have it rejoin the list of permanent modes. Notably missing from this list is Kill Confirmed. I think this is likely just an oversight since there are multiple images in this blog post showcasing dog tags. Team revives are enabled in the two new modes and we have seen dog tags used in search and rescue back in Modern Warfare 2019, but since Kill Confirmed is usually one of the main modes in the featured 24-7 playlists, I think it's highly likely that it will continue to be in this game. The third person mode we saw in the beta will also be returning. They also confirmed that there will only be two large team modes at launch, which are Ground War and Ground War Invasion. Similar to Modern Warfare 2019, this Ground War is a large-scale domination match with vehicles, and the Invasion mode has added AI running around to increase the chaos. Another highly requested mode that was absent for the blog post is Gunfight. This mode came out in Modern Warfare 2019 and has had a pretty dedicated fanbase ever since. Gunfight was in Cold War and there was the Champion Hill variation in Vanguard, but for them to scrap this mode altogether seems odd. This is a mode that I could see left out of launch, but may get added at a later time like during the Season 1 update. They also noted that Hardcore will be in the game, but for some reason it will now be called Tier 1 Playlists. The next big section is perks that have had a couple changes. They did confirm that the perks we saw in the beta are all the perks that will be there at launch. For some reason they renamed EOD to Bomb Squad though. The next big change is that Hardline was moved from Tier 4 to Tier 3. This means that you will earn it earlier into the game, which is a much needed change. Unfortunately, there still is no Ninja or Dead Silence perk to permanently quiet your footsteps for the more aggressive players. As a refresher, here are all the base perks that you can start off every match with. And here are the bonus perks that you earn a couple minutes into the game. And finally, here are the ultimate perks that you can earn a couple minutes after that. Next up is field upgrades, and it looks like we did have access to all the field upgrades during the beta. One thing that we could see in the beta but couldn't use since it was locked is the ability to run two field upgrades at the same time. They had this feature in Modern Warfare 2019 and I expect it to work in a very similar fashion. How it worked back then was you could equip a second field upgrade at the cost of a slower recharge rate. This let you activate your field upgrade in game, then you would hit the input again to choose which field upgrade you wanted right then. So for example, you hit L1 and R1 to activate your field upgrade, then L1 again for a trophy system or R1 again for a munitions box. And the last section in the blog post is the new maneuvers that you can do in the game. First up is how the mechanics work while swimming underwater. While underwater, you can only shoot a pistol and only if you have one equipped. Your bullet is also affected by the water's density, so I assume this means that it will move slower and have more bullet drop. The second maneuver is the ledge hang. This will let you dangle below a high ledge and peek over or fire a pistol without fully mantling. You can, of course, also mantle from this position. It's a neat mechanic for one life modes where stealth is key, but honestly, this got me killed more than it helped me while playing through the campaign. If you found any part of this video helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future. Alright, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next time.